Hello, hey, this is Mark from Texas Snake ID. What we have here today is an Eastern hog nose. One of the characteristics of the hog nose is that turned up nose, as you can see. And they use that nose to dig down and dig up uh, toads and other uh, amphibians. So there was a photo posted here recently on Facebook that of, of an Eastern hog nose, much like the pattern of this one. And it was confused with a cotton mouth many times. Well, let's go over some of, some of the characteristics that you can look at to know this is a hog nose and not a cotton mouth. Now, first of all, a lot of snakes will flare their heads out to make themselves look venomous. So we can't look at the head shape on that at all because these guys will flare their heads out like cobras. And if you didn't see the nose on it because of maybe it's hiding it or, or, the, or the, uh, the angle of the photo, you couldn't see. So let's look what else we can find. First, we'll start with these, these eye spots back here in the back of the neck. As you can see, see the two eye spots right here and right here? To hold still for us when they flatten their flare their necks out this becomes like almost like giant eye spots to help with the illusion that they're big bad and dangerous and then if we go down or farther this guy is a very light pattern but you can see the pattern on her back you can kind of see there's a couple dots like there's a dot right here a dot right here on the other side there would be a dot right here and right right here some of these are much much uh, more bold patterned and they can be a red color they can be more of a yellow color they can be solid black with no pattern at all. It's very cool. So look at their tail kind of pattern. It goes all the way down their body. And you kind of see down here, I guess lower, lower part of their body, you can see those dots I'm talking about. And there's one on each side. They match up. Now on a cotton mouth, which you would expect to see, is kind of wide banding going across. Sometimes it's bold banding, sometimes it's not so bold. But that's what you'd expect to see. And it'd be a jagged kind of line uh, on the edges of the bands going across. And it would go all the way across. See, he's kind of getting upset, flaring out. That's what they do. That's one of the things they do. They they hiss and they flare their heads and they act all big and bad. And they'll even play dead sometimes. And they like to curl their tails up too. Kind of like a, a pigtail. Isn't that kind of cool? That's another characteristic. And I'll put that out there at you too to kind of make a big round ball. Maybe you'll think it's a head and bite that instead of their head. But they're very, very cool snakes. They love to eat amphibians, like I said, with that nose is why they dig them up. They're not so much uh, rodent eaters or other snake eaters or reptile eaters. They're a very fascinating snake and nothing really to be concerned about at all. So on a cotton mouth too, you will notice that their heads are very flat and wide. He has kind of a flat head, but it's kind of very narrow. <clears throat> their heads will be much, much wider here and flat, very, very flat and very angular on the sides. He's not quite so angular at all, huh, buddy? So that, that's a real big way to tell. And he doesn't have a pit. Now, of course, you would not want to look at a, at a cotton mouth, a live cotton mouth, and try to see if it has a pit. The pit blends in so well, you're probably not going to notice it. And even a slit eye. You may not notice a slit eye on the cotton mouth because the eye blends in so well. And when, they're, and when it's uh, really dark out, their eye will constrict open, be round, just like this guy's eye. So it's really not a good way to tell either. But cotton mouths will much, look much different than these guys. Maybe I'll include a picture of a cottonmouth in this video and the picture from Facebook if I get a chance. 